Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to your November 2022 general guidance. And this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watching. Right, my darlings. So um, I'm Julie Poole. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, I'm going to use a variety of different cards, Oracle and Tarot. We're going to be looking at your current energies. I don't bother with past energies because it's done. Uh, the current and what's coming in and uh, what the challenges and what are the outcomes and we'll finish off with an angel message all righty okay Sagittarius we're going to start with the animal oracle and by the way I am open for bookings if you would like to book a private session the link is below along with the links to the cards that I use okay okay oh okay we've got dear spirit I want three of these I believe yes I do okay I was going to do this on Friday it's Sunday. I do apologize. I wasn't too well. My energy wasn't right on Friday. So try the right wait until it's right for you. You know, we don't want any compromises, do we? Okay, moth spirit and parrot spirit. Okay. Let's start with parrot. Watch your word. Scorpio had this as well, which is really interesting. So any of you on the cusp with Scorpio, maybe have a little look at that reading as well. So anything to do with birds is communication. So when we're talking, there is high level, there is low level, there is gossip, there is bitching, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So it's tempting because Mars is going retrograde today and that internalizes everything to do with Mars energy, which is all that power. Um, so sometimes we can start really getting wound up about things and then, you know, have a little explosion. Be careful with your words, all right? So the dear spirit is saying, let's bring a gentle touch. So yes, speak your truth. Always, always speak your truth. But do it in a gentle way. We don't want to be creating a load of the energy, do we? All right? So speak your truth, yes, but in a gentle way. Dear spirit is it's very feminine. It's very gentle. Um, it is very much about coming from the intuition, coming from the heart. So speak your truth from the heart, but with kindness. And we also have this moth spirit, which is all about surrendering. So, mm, okay, let's find out a little bit more. We're going to get some more cards to clarify these, but there's something here, Sag, that we need to surrender. All right. And it's to do with control. And listen, I'm a Virgo. You know, we're control freaks. So have my hands up here. You know that sometimes we need to feel in control. We need to know what's going on. We need to know what's happening. And then we feel safe. We feel solid. We don't like it when everything's unknown. But at the moment, this energy through November and I feel into the end of the year is very much about being able to let go of control. Now, this is where we've got to step into that trust. If I don't know what's going on, if it's all uncertain, I don't know what's happening in my job. I don't know what's happening with this. I don't know what's happening with that. That can feel scary. I get it. But what we want to do is step into, OK, I've got no clue what's going on, but I'm just going to trust that I'm working my way through it and what will need to be revealed will be revealed and I'll know in good time. And we don't need to see around corners. All right. <laughs> the irony of that where when we're doing psychic readings to be able to see around corners. I get it. But what we want to do is be aware that this is a month for kind of letting go of the control. OK, let's find out some more about these three cards. I'm going to the wisdom of the Oracle. Tell me a little bit more than my beautiful Sagittarius, please, for November. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All righty. OK. Unfinished Symphony by the book and Orphaned. All righty. OK, these are not great, but we're working out. We're going to figure out what we need to do. So panicky not. All right. Unfinished Symphony is what it says on the tin. It's unfinished business. So there's something here that we need to finish off and we're going to do it properly by the book is a card about not cutting corners. Don't take the shortcut. Sometimes we need to go the long way around. Sometimes there's something there for us to be able to pick up all the different pieces and not skirt over it. And it's linking in with this. 
So this is what we are surrendering to. So whether this is recent or whether this is decades ago, this month is the month for this coming up and out and out the other side release. All right. So the Unfinished Symphony says that this is unfinished business here about the orphaned card, which is, yeah, nobody loves me. I'm on my own. I'm unsupported. I've got to be reliant on myself. And it feels a little bit lonely and a little bit isolating. Now, whether you have lost this can be a job, a relationship, loss of loved ones, whatever it is. It means lots of different things. The orphan card really isn't just about losing your parents. It can be, but it's not just that. It's really about feeling alone. That's what it comes down to. Bit of the five of pentacles there, but instead of money, this is emotionally feeling left out in the cold. And this unfinished here. So something needs to be healed and cleared here, Sag, in November before your birthday. Oh, and happy birthday for you, November Sagittarius. Now, when we come towards our birthday, because our birthday is our New Year's Day and it embraces and opens up a whole new year, anything that is unfinished that needs to be sorted before the birthday will come up the months before your birthday generally. Can either come up two months before or one month before, but it tends to kind of the inner being is saying, uh, excuse me, can we just finish this off before we start a new year? Can we start clean? Can we start fresh? So anything that is unfinished hanging over from the past whether it's this last 12 months or whether this is the right time for the old stuff to come up and out it wants to be cleared before your birthday okay so how do we do it how do we clear it first of all we recognize it without judgment with kindness don't forget we've got that dear spirit a gentle touch so you're going to tap into any part of you just be very open with yourself very loving and gentle and open and asking your inner being is there any part of me here that feels alone isolated left out in the cold upset even if it was decades ago this is the month to get it up and get it out so that we start our New Year's Day on your birthday, fresh and clean and ready to go. We're not dragging baggage with us from the past and important not to cut corners. All right. So, you know, don't just skim over the surface, have a bit of a poke around and then pull it up and let it go. So how do you do that? Just purely with the thought, the power of your mind and intention. All right. I am ready to let this go. I am ready to start a new year clean and fresh. I am ready to step into my best life. I am ready to heal any part of me from the past that is unhealed. I'm going to bring that love into my inner being into my inner child, into whatever part of me is feeling like this and help clear it and let it go. You can use your angels, your guides, your spiritual higher team. You can use your I am presence. You could talk to a friend. You could put yourself into counseling or read a book to help release whatever feels right for you. But this is guidance that's coming through. If it doesn't um, resonate for you, that's okay. Um, just say, okay, I don't know what she's talking about. This has no meaning for me at all. And then that this bit of the message isn't for you and that's all right. But if this is resonating, this is the month to do it. All right, let's go to the tarot. So what's the current situation, please, for my Sagittarius, apart from what we already know? Tell me more. And this is where the surrender comes in, you know, um, that surrender card on, with the orphaned and unfinished business. Surrender this pain, this hurt to spirit, to the universe, to God, to whatever works for you. Just surrender it. I am surrendering and letting this go. OK. All righty. So tell me more for my side, please. OK, we're ready. Four of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Bottom of the Deck, Judgment. Okay. Oh, we've got, and the Ace of Cups was hiding behind it. All right. So as you take a step back, rest, recharge, reboot, 
um, release that if that resonates for you. If it doesn't and you don't need to release anything, this is a card of you need to rest and recharge because we've got the nine of wands here, which is the battle weary soldier. I'm a little bit tired. I'm a little bit worn out. This is a card of perseverance. Don't give up. You're nearly there. You're nearly there. Don't give up now. But you do need to rest. OK, that four of swords is saying let's step back from mm, Okay, as we surrender and let go, as we step back and let go of the control, as we move into trust, then we allow ourselves to rest and recharge, which enables a new beginning to come in. And let's be fair, this is a very nice new beginning. We got the Ace of Cups, the Judgment and the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles is the flow, the flow of life. This can be financial prosperity and security. Um, this can be money coming in, but it's not just about money, the Ten of Pentacles. It's a card of fulfillment and enrichment because as we let go of what we don't need and we step into my abundance and my power and I am now rising up from the ashes, I am letting go. This is a rebirth, a fresh start. And this is what I was saying at the beginning of the reading. As you come to your birthday, this is your fresh start. So that bit that needs to be cleared out first, then we're moving into a brand new beginning. Ace of Cups is beautiful. So we've got a new beginning in terms of emotional happiness. We are rising up and we're moving towards this fulfillment. Time scale, please. So over the next two to three months, I know this is November, but, you know, not everything hits in four weeks. So I want you to set the intention that I am freeing everything that I don't need and I am embracing and opening up to a brand new chapter, a brand new year, a brand new beginning that is going to be, no, they're correcting me, never manifest in the future, going to be as future tense, that is abundant, that is prosperous that is fulfilling and enriching this is my new beginning and it begins now all right anything else you want me to say on that they want another couple of cards okay when i say they i am connecting in with my higher self and the universal consciousness all right so tell me more what are we clarifying the judgment card okay Tell me more about the judgment card. Oh, there we go. Seven of Pentacles and justice. That's great. Okay. So you are we're clarifying this. Okay. You are building something for the future now. Seven of Pentacles isn't something that generally hits within a few days. It's a slow burn. All right. Which is why she's got that tree behind her. She's grown that from seed and that doesn't happen overnight. But she knows that. She knows that if she puts the work in, she will get her harvest. And this will be within the year. But I'm feeling this is predominantly the next two or three months. And justice coming in can mean new contracts. But it's mainly about balance. It's about bringing the balance in, the fairness in. This can be a new karmic cycle, particularly when we've got the ju judgment there, because this is a rebirth. So rebirth with justice, a rebirth that is fair and balanced and harmonious and will give you the rewards with that seven of pentacles that you've been waiting for. So keep working on whatever it is you're working on because it's going to get there. But before we do that, we have got these two saying, take a step back, rest, recharge, reboot. Then you're ready to move into this new cycle, which sounds lovely. All right. So let's have a look at the challenges. I'm going to use a different deck now. What are the challenges for Sagittarius for November, please? What are the challenges, the difficulties? What do we need to be aware of? <laughs> Bottom of the deck, four of wands. Um, so your challenge, you've got the nine of wands again. You've got the four of coins, which is all about that security and money. And it can be a card of holding on a little bit too tight. But we have the three of cups here, which is a beautiful energy. So why is this the challenge? So the challenge really is, can you be yeah distracting yourself? The three of cups is 
fun and frivolity and going out with your friends and having a good time and saying, you know, stuff that work I need to do, that release work on the orphan card, can't be asked with that. Um, so there's your challenge, distracting yourself by happy things. This is also a challenge, your four of pentacles, which can be holding on a bit too tight when we are struggling to surrender. So, yeah, it's like, no, I'm not, I'm not letting go. I'm not letting go. It's too much like hard work to let go. It's too much like hard work to step into trust. It's just too much. That nine of wands says, no, it's just too hard. I'm just going to avoid it. I'm going to throw myself into something else instead. But with that four of wands there, is it the four or the two? You know, it is the four. I thought it was. Um, okay, so the four of wands is home, security, upgrades, improvements, marriage, moving in together, moving home. And um, all of this can be a distraction. This is beautiful energy but it can be a distraction where we start going ahead of ourselves rather than the steps to get there. We kind of jump, leapfrog over it. But we need to do those steps in order to truly embrace this energy when we get there. Does that make sense? They're saying not for some of you. All right, let me try and explain a little bit better. If it doesn't make sense, it's not your fault. It's mine. I'm not explaining it clearly. All right. So distractions avoidance too hard too difficult um i want this four of wands now so i'm just going to jump there and i'm going to avoid this but if you do that this won't be as good this won't be as good all right so it is worth it it is worth doing that release work and we're not talking days and weeks and months here you can literally do it in 10 minutes you just bring yourself into your energy in a quiet space where you've got the house to yourself and you allow yourself to feel everything you feel that needed to go and then you rest and recharge and then you're ready to go doesn't have to be hard don't make it hard if you think this is hard you'll be right if you think this is easy you'll be right align with it being easy I'm ready to let it go and it's just going to go so easily. But then I can move into that four of ones. Then I can move into properly having something to celebrate. So these are your challenges. Just be aware of them and then you can overcome them. All right. So what's the outcome? I'm going back to that first tarot deck. Both the tarot decks are Marchetti, by the way. Um legacy and royale tarot royale okay so outcome what's the outcome please by the time we get to the end of november for my sagittarius what is the outcome one more okay oh the magician the six of swords and the queen of pentacles bottom of the deck the star now that uh, and under there we've got temperance we'll have that oh and under that is Ten of Cups. And then the Ace of Cups. Okay, Sag, this is so worth doing. Will you look at this outcome if you do that release work? My goodness me, I can't hold all these cards up, so I'm going to have to do it a bit at a time. You've got the magician, which is you being the alchemist. You're in your I am. You're in your creative flow. You are absolutely in the magic to be able to create anything you want. You're ready to hit the ground running. All right. This is beautiful. And then you have the six of swords because you come away from what needed to go. You've left it behind you. This is a card of the grass is greener on the other side. I'm putting behind the difficulties, the challenges, the done, the finished, and I'm moving into cleaner pastures, fresher, uh, better, getting everything coming better now. And towards this queen of pentacles, which is prosperity and security. She's very wise. She's very good with money. She's a shrewd businesswoman and she's able to absolutely look after herself financially in a very solid, stable um, place because you surrendered, because you trusted, because you released and then you just allowed all right. When we let go and surrender, we are in the allowing and then the good stuff can come to you. And here it is. It's coming. I mean, look at this. This is beautiful. You've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups with Temperance and the Star. So all of that 
is healed. It's released. And it brings you into balance. It brings you into happy place. It brings you into a new beginning. So you are absolutely then in that judgment. I'm looking for the judgment card. Into that rebirth, into that new beginning. You've done it. You've achieved it. This is a celebration. This card comes just before the world. Final completions. So you, it's done. You, you finished that off in November and you moving towards then the end of November into your season in this energy which is absolutely gorgeous 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 all right so this is looking amazing for you as you approach your birthday time so a little bit of finishing off the old try not to get distracted know that it's worth it that you are building something here really solid and stable and you're going to have this fresh start without that baggage so that you will feel lighter and brighter and more able to move forward into your next 12 months from a really powerful empowered place i love it all right let's finish off with an angel card for you this is lovely. Honestly, it's worth just tapping into that which you need to let go of, that control, to trust, to watch those words, okay? And then you are opening yourself up, but no shortcuts, all right? It's not going to work for you if you do the shortcuts. All right, angel whispers, final message here for you. So, you know, you've got angelic energy around you, helping you, supporting you, guiding you. Listen to that inner voice because the angel whispers come into your inner knowing. You just kind of know and you don't know why you know. You just know that's your angels. That's the angelic energy moving you towards that beautiful, balanced, healing, powerful energy. Because this is you being the star ready for your birthday season. And we love that for you. All right. All right, Sagittarius, that is what I have for you. If this helped, please do give it a like. And if you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It's completely free and it does really help my channel to grow. I would so appreciate that. Thank you. All right. Have a lovely, lovely month and I will see you next time. You take care. Lots of love. Bye bye.